Well, like, like you said about Brett Marks, the guy's as talented as anybody, right? His team's great. He can win anywhere. He made all this money racing Pennsylvania, doing all this stuff. There's like 10 of them guys. I mean, you look at Bobby Pierce. Bobby Pierce is as talented as anybody does this. Mm-hmm. His dad's talented. They're all, and he chooses to stay in the Illinois area and make his, he can Living. probably make 200. His car's going to bring in. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars or there. My car is going to bring in seven hundred on the Lucas Tour because it's the best year I've ever had. Uh, JD is on an open schedule, bringing in two million because he's won these special races. Look at Overton, like look at Mad. Just look around and then look at Dennis Herb, a guy that has struggled for here and there in his career, and then he wins this title. He's bringing in probably a half a million or more. It's mm-hmm. just. It's, there's just more of it, and there's just more money out there. There's not a lot of ten thousand dollar one sprint car shows that aren't associated either with an all star, which is probably half their schedule that pays ten, or a world outlaws right. where you can't yeah, do it just yeah. on its you're own. You're not you're you're not rolling into a offshoot show that's unsanctioned that pays ten grand a win. Yeah, you know, we have them everywhere. It's just it's just the way it's gone. I think it's because there's just a lot of promoters, a lot of fans and a lot of a lot of a lot of uh cars out there that are coming to support it. Like, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, well I was curious on you know, uh, in this deal I've talked to a lot of sprint car people who are involved and uh one guy responded cuz the drivers originally were asking for, you know, more money, blah blah blah, and he was like these drivers need to shut the hell up. The car owners are the ones that are taking the hit every year, year in and year out. How do you know, or, or I was curious, I wanted to ask Davenport, but I never got to ask him, but you're successful. Do car owners get screwed in the late mall world? Does the car owner, do you know your cut versus the car owner cut and expenses? I mean, is 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 are car owners losing money? And this is why I have a problem with this. We, we got to make sure car owners can make money because I think when we transition well, from putting drivers into cars that can win races to drivers who can rent the car – is when winning a race didn't make money for a car owner. And so renting a car did. Uh, you know, so what, well, what, what's it, the late model world like? Is car owners, are car owners like a JD with Landers or you with Paler? Are y'all making, is the car owner making money? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, obviously you got to talk to Donald. I know enough of the ins and outs when, when, I, when Vic and I were partners and, and obviously – his mother Ann and his stepdad Carl Myers, they we we knew the deal. I mean, we we know when a when a driver takes a percentage, and most drivers are taking anywhere from in my opinion, in my opinion, and this is just me, if you're good at your craft, you're gonna get a minimum of thirty and you should probably get at least forty. Right. And 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 maybe there's some other things where oh you start you win so many X races, you get a little more percentage, whatever. Um that's a big cut. I mean, literally, like you literally do the math. It's simple math. Right. If and the then the owner's got to take that 60% pay... and pay crew, car, all this stuff. Yes. So we we all know that the owners are not getting rich. Like, in our division, I believe the owner has the best chance at getting close to even. So even but on a year or JD don't... level, it's even maybe? Well, on JD's level this year, obviously they're okay because you have one race that pays a million bucks. But how much? That's they ain't two million plus. Like JD's cut of forty percent is profit. Their cut of sixty, let's just say, is yeah. But when you expended. when you do what they did, it's 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 him and I, like JD and I probably have the same bills, operating costs all year long. He won two million. We won seven hundred thousand. So at the end of the day, like my owner will tell you straight up that like. We're really good. We've been very fortunate that we haven't tore a lot of stuff up. And, but at the end of the day, he still has, you know, overhead. We had three paid guys, like you said, and we also had a truck and trailer. You got fuel. You got, mm-hmm. And that's where these, sponsors um, come these, in. Because how do sponsors work? Do you get a cut of sponsorship money? I mean, that's a deal where oh, that's I where mean, the I, owner can make enough. up. For, I'm just saying that's where the owner can make up for his expenses if he's getting the, the majority or all. Of sponsor money. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, that's how you do it, like, down south. That's that's how, like, Richard Childress or Hendrix and all that stuff works, you know. Unless you're certain guys where you're you're bringing the spots to the place where you can... Your daddy's the sponsor. I'm, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm not... Well, I'm not... Listen, I'm not... Um, I'm telling you, maybe to a fault, I, I get paid my percentage. I don't ask for anything more or anything less. I've had my percentage since I got really good at this. Um, what I tell people at the end of the day, I get paid based off of how good I do as a driver, period. Like, no, oh. there's always reasons why I run bad myself, the team, the cars, the, the equipment, uh, mistakes. But at the end of the day, I live life off of my percentage. So if I do a horrible job doing it, then I don't get paid a lot of money. If I do a good job doing it, I get paid good money. And so... Um, that's how I've lived for the last 25 years of my life. And, and I don't, um, no, my owners are happy that I've driven for. Everybody seems to be happy until they're not happy. I, I don't know what to say. Well, I mean, I, we just keep doing what we're like, doing, you know? It sounds like, well, I was just curious because these sprint car people are looking at late miles making all this money. And this guy says, well, these drivers shut up. The car owners are getting screwed more than anyone. I was just curious if, hey, these late mile numbers that everybody's idolizing on the sprint car side, does it translate to the owner? you know, being able to make a little or not. And and well, you're telling me without a million dollar win from Davenport, most most owners are barely even. Before sponsorship. I don't though. think any before sponsorship I before think all the supplementals here's what I think back on. Here's what I think. If Mark Richards and this is just me speaking out of turn, if Mark Richards brings in seven or eight hundred thousand, I bet you that's what he spent. Because and I think my owners are saying if if, if Donald and Gina want to f- go out and buy another motor because they think we'll be better, they're going to buy it. This whole deal that the owners are definitely not getting rich off of this. I mean, this is how we ride. This is how we do.